On Wednesday the 29th of October 1884, the Manchester Evening News would report the collapse of the canal embankment on the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal. It would tell the story of how the canal retaining wall had weakened and the canal had burst its banks and been washed down into the River Irwell down below with devastating consequences. Unfortunately, however, this was not an isolated incident, and 52 years later, history was to repeat itself. In 1936, there was a further canal breach, and it's this 1936 canal breach that we're looking for today, as well as other interesting things that we find along the way. Just put sugar in it? Yeah. No spoon. Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. Behind us there is the River Irwell, as you can see. And it's uh, quite a mild February day today. Now, the last time we did a video about the canal, the Manchester Bolton Berry Canal, I hinted at something happening. I said something happened here. You may or may not remember that. Well, today in this video, we're looking for the something that happened. Now, just while we're looking for this place along the canal, at this point, the Manchester Boltonbury Canal had a fatal weakness, or it turned out to be a fatal weakness. Let me show you what it was. And here it is. Look at the size of the wall they had to build to keep the canal on the embankment. So we're kind of must be on a contour line here above the river, above the river valley. And at times this, uh, this slope gets up to a hundred foot high from the, uh, from the actual riverbed. Well, look at it, massive, quite a feat of engineering to be honest with you. And obviously there's no doubt this has massive footings. They put railway lines in the wall to shore it up, to give it strength. And it goes for quite a way that way down there. And it goes for quite a way behind the camera, I'd probably say I'm going to guess about a mile, so it was quite a, a big job. Big footings on top, canal footings, canal stone, dress stone footings on the top. Um, and like I say, boom, to keep the canal just beyond there where it was. Anyway, we're going to go, I'm going to carry on walking along the side of the wall because I'm going to show you that the wall wasn't infallible. So as we walk along the wall, you can see here how it's all... Uh, starting to fall into disrepair and it's uh, it needs looking at this because the, the whole thing could happen again to be honest with you um, but there is a theory as to why it's ended up like this I'll tell you later okay so where are we this week well there's Manchester and as always we'll zoom in on Google Earth to see where we're going a place we've been to before the Manchester Bolton Berry Canal as we zoom in we're looking at this area here not far from Lady Shore Woods Right, so there you go, there's the River Irwell where we've just done the opening scenes and that line there is the canal, the remains of the Manchester Bolton Berry Canal which is now disused, but you can just see it there. I want to introduce this topography though here between the river and between the canal because the canal's perched up here on, um, on quite a high bank. This is taken from an Ordnance Survey map and it's uh, I've just highlighted the, uh, the contour lines. Um, 50 metres above sea level uh, down at the riverbed and up to 80 metres just up near the canal. So that's 30 metres. I look that up, that's like 98 feet. So it's quite a drop from the uh, canal down to the, uh, down to the river bank. Yeah. Anyway, let's go back to the uh, Google Earth. So rather than drop down vertically down the bank, what we've done is we've kind of took an easy route and we're walking along here between the river and the old canal. And that's where we've seen all those strange things, the little doors in the trees and everything. And on our way to where we're going to, we're going to go past this weir. And first off, we're going to encounter something quite interesting. We're at a weir, look at this. See the weir there? Right. And here, this is the intake of water off the Irwell. See how they built the weir? 
yeah? Gives you a big pool of water, big head of water. Film this, James. And it comes down here. And this is your feed. This would have been probably some kind of sluice gate mechanism here. And look at the stone there that they've built to direct the water this way. And then there's some sort of like construction there over there. Let's just go over here a minute. Wow. Come up here, James, and look at this. We've even got a beach down here. <laughs> look. So it obviously dropped down there, down there. There's been something here, I don't know what that was. Probably a mechanism for a sluice gate or something. The water drops down there, down a gate, and runs onwards here. <clears throat> Looks a bit murky. But it runs on there. Obviously that's all iron stained now and stagnant and horrible. But the, the leak runs on there, as you can see. Looks really murky, doesn't it? Obviously some kind of works. I'll have to look at the old maps and see what this was. There you go. I looked at the side-by-side -side maps, courtesy of National Libraries of Scotland, and it was Cream's Paper Mill. Looking at the left-hand map there, Cream's Paper Mill it was. Been meaning to come here for a while, and I've ended up stumbling upon it um, by accident. But yes, that's what it was. Now long since flattened. Anyway, let's crack on just looking around this site briefly. That leak that we saw just then may have sort of like fed this thing here. But behind the camera that James hasn't spotted is something interesting. Look at these steps. An old set of steps here. Run, James, run. They needed vast quantities of, quantities of water for bleaching and dyeing, and I think probably that was some sort of tank for it. Anyway, some steps back down to the river. So the canal breached its banks here. You'll notice behind me there, the towpath runs round there, round that way. And the reason it does is to go round where the canal breached its banks. Right, so there you go. Uh, let's have a look. That's what that's where the breach occurred there. Let me just zoom in on some detail for you. As you zoom in there, this is where it happened. And it's so overgrown now you can't really you can't really tell. The biggest giveaway is, as I've probably pointed out to you, or I'm going to, the uh, the footpath, the tow path that everyone walks along suddenly gets diverted that way round to the safe side of the breach, then comes back that way there like that. And then there you can just see the ravine where everything went pear-shaped and the canal burst its banks and went crashing down the, uh, down the valley there into the river. So that's your biggest giveaway there. Why did it collapse? Well, they think it was probably something to do with, just over here is a colliery called Ladyshaw Colliery, lots of mining works. They weren't sure if there was some sort of subsidence um, in the area that had caused it to go. A lot of rainfall around here all the time, possibly weakened the, uh, the footings of the, the retaining wall. But for whatever reason, it went, and it went with one hell of a bang, if you like, and it took the canal and some boats with it. This is a great picture that sort of illustrates what's going on, and it was taken, I don't know, what, I don't know the date on this, but it was taken at a time where there was less foliage around, taken from the opposite side of the river. See where the arrow is, that's showing the canal along the embankment, you can see that there, look how precariously it's perched above the river, and then over there on the horizon is Ladyshaw Colliery, and I suspect its workings went right down deep below where the canal is, probably under the riverbed as well, but there must have been possibly some subsidence. This is the theory as to what happened and why that wall was so uh, susceptible to collapsing over the, uh, the, the few times that it did over history. Now, it was 80 odd years ago that this happened. And since then, 
the landslide where it went down is now full of trees and all sorts of overgrowth in it and everything and, and yeah all the the, the, the the footings and the the parts of the canal wall went with it but it, there's so much overgrowth here now you can't really it's hard to get the impression of how far it slid down the hillside but i'm just going to go over this fence here and try and show you through the broken fence that somebody's uh, put here for us down here where's my stick Can you get down here, James? So can you see that, how far the drop is down there? And that's the breach, that's where it went down there. You can see the wall here, can you see the wall? The massive retaining wall, big retaining wall, and then a big embankment right away down to the River Irwell. Now, I've got a picture to show you, and it was taken just on the other side of the breach. I don't know if we can get on that side and give you a good clue. But I told you about boats going off the edge. Take a look at this picture, it's amazing. You can even see the boxes in the boat that would have been uh, filled with coal at the uh, at the colliery. Now, before we go down to that bottom part near the river, I need to have a word with James. Bit of a trek, this, isn't it? It is a trek. Knackered. <laughs> I think you're more knackered. <laughs> no, I think you're more knackered. Walking on all these embankments, it's muddy as anything, isn't it? Slippy. Yeah. I've gone a few times that you haven't seen off camera. Camera work running. Anyway, mm. what do you reckon? Brew. Brew? And oh look, we're here by the River Irwell, at our favourite spot, the old bridge stanchion that's left in the middle of the river. I can tell you now, folks, we've not got a spoon, have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> we've had it once, we had it once on White Nancy, didn't we? We can't have a spoon. Uh, twice. Twice, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not going to happen, it's yeah, too greedy. What are we on? Tea oh, cakes. Tonic's tea. Hang on a minute. Tonic's tea cakes, amazing. But you've been on, you've opened that already. Rats. <laughs> rats in a bag. <laughs> Was it? Rats, rats yeah. <laughs> the escape from your wallet? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I've got? What? Scotch egg. <laughs> Scotch egg, is it? Yours, half of the Scotch egg that you didn't eat before. <laughs> in fact, I'm quite, I'm quite surprised. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. <laughs> I thought you'd left all the egg in it. <laughs> but you bet half and turned it over, haven't you? <laughs> right, so... You swine. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, that's good of him to leave the whole egg in there for me. When, many years ago, son, many years ago. So what we're doing is we're walking somewhere between the canal and the river bank kind of on the edge here and it's a bit treacherous because it's really slippy but we're trying to find the breach which is just around this corner I think because I think if we try and um, walk down the actual breach itself I'm not sure that it's really sort of steep so we're going sort of like the middle way at the minute and this path is taking us down towards the riverbank but somewhere along here in a moment we'll find the breach and we'll be in the middle of a photograph that I want to show you so here we are at the bottom of the breach, July the 6th, 1936. The canal's up here, and you remember I told you about the wall being at, in parts 100 foot high? Well, this is one of the highest parts of the bank, and you can see, and I'll show you in a moment, I'll show you, so you can see the retaining wall up there. Look at this, here's the wall. <laughs> this is the wall, 86 years ago, and it's still here now. The bloody wall is still embedded in. And if we go over here, there's more wall. Look at that. And all the stone, the canal stone there, that's come down, come hurtling down. It happened so fast, boats were washed down the hill. And in a minute, me and James are gonna go down by the riverbank because I wanna place us in this wonderful picture that, that, that I found, or this famous picture. So we have to go down to the riverbank down here. 
But can you imagine? Apparently it was a roar like thunder as the whole lot come crashing down and all the water and the boats and everything. Must have been quite a thing to see. And of course, as per usual, the crowds from miles around flocked to come and see it. But it sealed the fate of the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal because after that, this was never repaired and only parts of the canal that still managed to hold water were still in use. So this is it, not quite it, but this is where the famous photo was taken. And it's of some chaps in hats and some people stood at the bottom of the breach looking up. What it did was, when, the, when all that stuff came down, it actually ended up in the River Irwell here and almost blocked the river. Uh, it would have been a hell of a sight to see. It come hurtling down and ended up there. But I think that the fish actually got a bit of a lift downwards from the canal down to the river. But uh, I imagine a lot of them wouldn't have survived. A lot of it's overgrown now, so there wouldn't have been all this foliage and you could see clear right to the top. But come over here, James, look at the wall. Look at that, look at the wall there. So you get the impression there of just how big that wall is. That bit's stone, I don't know why that bit's stone because the other parts of it were brick, weren't they? But uh, you can see, and standing here now and knowing what happened, it's quite ominous looking up at that, thinking the whole thing could go. You see the ravine, it's hard to see through all the foliage, but it's hard, it's, uh, that's where it came down there. And you see the massive, pieces of canal there, canal wall rather. You can see here there's been a fresh landslip here, just where James is and it goes down there, down to the river below. There you go, the canal breach on the Manchester Bolton Berry Canal and in the next, uh, next time we're here we'll go further down towards where it splits towards Berry and Bolton, would you believe. Mm. Mm. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, take care. See you in a bit. See you in a bit, bye for now.